Welcome back. Say welcome back. Welcome back. To another This or That. And this particular video has been highly requested. You guys have been waiting for the 10 to 14 year old age group. And this one is going to be girls. And the very next video is going to be our 10 to 14 year old boys. So Miss Eliana wanted to help me today. And so the first thing we're going to start off with is 10 to 14 year old yes. girls. Should we do a Barbie style doll or a stuffed animal? And this one is a fun answer. Either one is fantastic. This particular age group, either they're going to play with the Barbie or they're going to enjoy it as like a novelty item, something that they haven't necessarily had before. They might display it and enjoy just having it. So that's fun. But they also at this age still love stuffed animals. Um, like I said in a previous video, stuffed animals tend to go into farther up age groups in foreign countries than you would think. And so this age group still loves stuffed animals. All right, next one. Should we send, go ahead, you can show them both of those. Should we send hair accessories or jewelry to this age group? And I would personally lean a little more towards jewelry, but hair accessories aren't wrong. Um, they still do use them, but I think by this point, 10 to 14, each kid has a very kind of set style. And so hair accessories are a little bit harder to fit into their style, depending on who it is. For instance, when I was 10 to 14, all I used were like these stretchy style headbands and that was it. So if you had sent me bows, I would be like, yeah, that's for the boys video. <laughs> that video is coming next. Um, but yeah, if you had sent me in a box, for instance, like hair bows, I might like them, but it wouldn't be like my favorite because I had my style. However, I feel like with jewelry specifically, it's so versatile and these teens love putting on jewelry. So I would personally probably put jewelry in over hair accessories, but neither is wrong. But I'm talking jewelry bracelets, necklaces, earrings, all sorts of jewelry options. Um, I know there is some concern about sending jewelry to certain countries where that might be seen as a more mature um, thing to wear. And so I think that's something that you just have to pray about. If you are doubting jewelry, then a great option instead of sending jewelry would be to send some hair accessories. So I know there are two sides to that where Jewelry is great, but there are certain places that it might not be as appreciated. And so pray about it. Think about it. Um, those are just my thoughts. Again, as I do these videos, I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions with you guys. For this age group, school supply wise, would I send markers or colored pencils? For this particular age group, I would send colored pencils. Again, this is a very required school supply. And for some reason, colored pencils are one of the more pricey school supplies in a lot of countries and they're harder to find good quality. So we purchased a bunch for ministry. I can't remember the brand that we bought over here in Columbia. It doesn't exist where you're at anyway, but um, the pencils just got eaten through by the sharpeners. They just, the leads were not strong enough. And so having a good quality set of colored pencils is amazing. Um, same tip, as I said, with the last age group, try to send the whole pack because they do need all the colors instead of breaking it up. You could also send markers. You can send gel pens as like a fun item, but in terms of what do they need school supply wise, colored pencils. At this age group, uh, crayons are not really necessary, but again, colored pencils are a must. Um... I think this is actually my last one for this age group. Would I send to 10 to 14 year old girls deodorant or soap? And I would send deodorant. Now here's why. Soap can be found in a lot of different places. Um, it can be found in liquid form. It can be found in bar form. It can be found very, very, very inexpensive and pricey as well but they have a lot of options in terms of soap that they can come by. So in terms of necessity and hygiene, oftentimes families can afford some form of soap for them as a family, but deodorant is considered a luxury item. And so 
they would rather purchase soap and have that cleanliness than spend the money to purchase deodorant because it's considered a luxury item. Um, I've shared this story before. When I was in the jungle of Ecuador, I ran out of deodorant and a travel size smaller than this one. So this is, this is a travel size, um, but smaller than this deodorant cost $9 for like one that we would pay like 97 cents for a travel size in the States. And so, you know, this is, a, and I'll just leave it at that. This is considered more of a luxury. So families can afford and will purchase this, but they might opt not to purchase this. And so when you put it in a box, it is such a tremendous blessing to those kiddos because it's something that they don't always get. I think those are all of the like big suggestions for 10 to 14. If you have a specific question about any Nate, age. Nate, train is full. The train is full? Yes. We're going to have to show that for the next boys video, shouldn't we? No. Okay. Um, but if you guys have any specific questions, whether it's a specific age, or if you have two things that you're like, should I pack this or this, put it in a comment below and I will try to either respond to the comment or maybe even make another general video. Um, but those are just some thoughts and ideas. I am going to have the boys one coming out. I know we are in the middle of national collection week. I apologize for the late <laughs> posting of these videos. Life has been crazy. We're going to get a few more videos out of all the things that have been going on with us, but I am well, baby is well, this sweet little girl is well, daddy is doing well. Um, and so we are praising God for those things, but it has been a little bit challenging getting these videos filmed and out to you guys. So thank you for your patience and can't wait to show you guys the 10 to 14 boys suggestions. See you guys on the next video.